movie, Volume 8, Chapter 11, Risk. This episode was good. This episode was really oh, yeah. good. They were real good. All right. So, uh, where did we leave? Well, where did we start off? We started off with the we... Aesops. Did, did we not? We started off with uh, kind of a pan of the cities. Still overrun by Grimm. And then after Ironwood's little speech... N Look at that Nevermore, Nevermore is like still trying to straight down. Just yeah, because like, he, he knows. Yeah, because he knows the people of Atlas are underneath there. Let me in. Wait, I'm still. Wait a minute. Here's something I'm still wondering. He's wasting all of his all of his army's like ammo on the ships that the Shinee Dust Company is sending. Why is he not killing the Grim over the city? Who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're sensing the people of Atlas. And I bet the people of Atlas are even like, wait a minute, what the frack is wrong with you? <sighs> it sucks to see the happy huntresses like that. They're not so happy right now. They're really not. Joanna, May, uh, Joanna, May, also. uh, I forget her name. Darn it! Fiona! My bad. I didn't mean to forget her go. name, I'm sorry. I don't remember their names half the time anymore. <laughs> I mean, I do. I love the Happy Huntresses. They're awesome. Also, we're going to talk about this. Mero, the man, finally standing up for himself. But uh, right after the fact that these officers are scared, and this is like the fifth time we've seen this lady this lady officer. Oh, yeah. I like how her character like has come to fruition after being pretended by Neo, and then we actually start seeing her more and more. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, my yeah. man Marrow spitting facts to Ironwood. I love... He's bluffing? With the whole city? It may finally push the kids to see reason. Who cares? Shut awesome. up, Harriet! Get out of here! I've already well, gotten okay. on you before! I've already gotten Let's... on you before! Let's actually go, like, from worst to best out of these four right now. Yeah, she Harriet, get out of here! care less about that. Seriously, policy. jump off a cliff and no one will care He's... about you! Vine he's is skeptical. Vine like, is he, passive. He's... Vine is passive at the moment. He's like, I don't want it to happen, but at the same time, it has to be done to get the kids to see reason. So, Vine's she's like, more like, uh... she's on the side of Mero, more like. But, but on the fact that if I don't follow orders, I could be the next to get in trouble. And then Mero's on full, like, I'm done with this. No, we're not doing this anymore. Good. You're here. I need a squad of drones in standby to drop the payload. Sir, what for? I believe I was clear in the broadcast. If they give me a reason, I'm going to remove Mantle from the equation. This. Look at Elm's face! Well, yeah, you can, you can tell just by that. She's perfectly okay with it. He's passive. kind of. Passive, passive. She's worried, and he's full blown. Well, Done. Done. You call this and look at no, 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 no. before before um, Mero goes off. Before Mero goes off, look at how Winter looks at the general. Oh yeah, she's completely like. Hold on, we didn't. We missed it. We missed it. We missed it. We missed it. Look at how. Look at the. Look at Winter. Watch this. Just keep watching. Look at her oh, face. Yeah, she's like, uh -uh. no, 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 no. Screw this. Doing Salem's job for her. I believed in you. I thought we could work towards Also, I want to hear this. Like, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. It Turn it off. If you don't shut your mouth, I'm going to do it for you. Who are this you? Is what gets the children to cooperate, then it's worth it. Stop being passive. Matter, but the top priority is. Do you even believe what you're saying oh, anymore? Um... Do any of you believe in anything? I used to wear this rank with pride. Now I see it for what it really is. Caller. Yo, the fact that he drew his gun on Mero. Well, no, I love the fact how as soon as you could hear the gun click, you inst you could instantly probably picture um Winter see that and instantly just go for the punch. Yeah, I thought she was gonna. Honestly, I was hope I was hoping she'd defend him at least, but this. That's the closest thing to defending he could have gotten. Yeah. In that spot. You want to call her? Fine. Yo, Elm is like, oh, what are you doing to my partner? What the frick? Oh, yeah. Instantly looks down. You want to call her? Looks at Ironwood. Fine. That back to, like, I'll throw this like, traitor wow. in the brig. 
where he belongs. And you can even hear it in her voice and like saying, nah, this is done. I'm done with this. I'm so done with this. Well, he, it's a good moment. And the fact to... that Aunt Mer she doesn't even- Even go... Vine is shocked at that. Yeah, and um, um, and the fact that Elm is so, she's still shocked about what just happened. Like she's not even falling in line with the others. She's like, well, you could tell he's shocked. She's completely under his thumb, and she, like, yeah. I'm you, sorry. You I'm, this close to putting a, I'm this close to putting a cloud mask over Harriet's face. <laughs> Just give, give the nose. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're Wood talking about this. Pet. We're talking about this. Team Ruby actually breaking down. Thra well, they're trying to. They're well. They're not having a breakdown, but they're like they trying to. Did. They figure, basically They're okay. figuring things, trying to figure things out. Yes. They're like seeing what they have and what they can do. Penny. Yes. So they they have, they're they're talking about it. So, how do we stop him? Crow and Robin are still in his custody, and May said the Atlas security drones are watching the crater, so they're tracking. Also. The fact that the drones are watching the crater to make sure nobody leaves to it's, try and fare the storm. That's stupid. That was so... That's just... That's that's mad. That's actually mad. That's petty, actually. No, no, no. That's petty. That's, that's petty. petty. That is so oh, petty. They can't, they can't leave. They're my hostage. They're my leverage. If no, they no, no, leave, no, no, no. no, 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 no. Leverage is too easy. They're hostages now. Leverage is an easy well, way of calling it. L leverage is so they have that up on them. Hostage is making sure they can't be not leave their leverage. I understand. I understand that. But honestly, as far as Ironwood is willing to go, I bet even if he does, if he did get Penny, he'd still drop the bomb on Mantle. I bet you he would. Well, yeah, after probably doing a self terminate, he would. Yeah, yeah, I bet he would. But still, it's just, it's. It's really it. It baffles me how petty this man is. Also comes another uh, <laughs> another day of I love the ears that they do yes. on Blake. Yes. Resin one to listen closely. Yes. I love how they animate Blake this season. So then it's impossible. And Ruby finally accepting it. Hero with all the answers doesn't have an answer. Then we have ours. Shut up. Okay, then why don't you just leave? Can we please oh, so, just Excuse me, you brought her here! You literally yeah, said Yeah, that's, that's the funny part. They brought her here and then she's she's getting all hot headed oh, as okay, she usually you is. Leave. And you can see she's like she acts that way because that's what she's used to. She's never usually talked back to like that. Yeah, she usually has that way with Cinder, but it's kind of passive in some sense. With, it Mer with Mercury, he just passes it off as a joke sometimes. He he th he always passes it off as a joke. I know, I know. That's why he's a lot like Yang. That's why he's like one of the best foils for Yang in this situation. He may be on the opposite side, but he's kind of the same. He's kind of um, they're like two sides of the same coin, basically. Both had yeah. a parent they hate, but both have the parent they hate, and both basically abandoned them to their fate. But except for the except for the fact that um, Mercury um, Mercury killed his father, and we all know Yang's not going to do that. Ospin is back. And the fact, and they don't care, basically. All of this doubt and worry and distrust, it isn't getting us anywhere. Then nothing has changed! We're in the exact same place we were yesterday! Arguing over what to Okay, do so we're still in the second day! Well, it could, it's either the second or the third. No, 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 no. They said yesterday because. Uh, well, they also gotta this... remember there's been. Hmm. The timeline's weird. The timeline's well, we have... weird. Yeah, so we're either. So yesterday is at least either is the, the first day or the second day. So this is either the second or the third day. I'm not Because sure. we, we know one day has passed yeah. for sure yeah, because, of, because of uh, the hound. Uh, yeah, uh, the yeah, hound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the hound episode, they went chasing Oscar and then the day passed and then everything. Yeah, one day has passed. This is the second day. Well, actually, no, it could be day three. Could it? I thought they only said it would span two day days. Is this the second day? It, I feel like this is the second day. Because I, I was going to say, day one 
Oscar got taken and their bike broke down, so they, stu- they uh, stayed still at that one captain's that, lodge. And they basically still got him during. They still went in and they went in to get Oscar at nighttime on um on wait. Is it? Oh yeah, so I think right. I think three. right. This is the day. This is day three. This is day three. Wow. Huh. Yeah, because night uh, night one, Oscar got taken. They stayed at the captain's lodge. Night, night two, two, they was went the... in and got Oscar. Kaboom! And today is day, is day three. three. It's still morning time too. Yeah, so that this is the beginning of the third day. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Dawn of the final day. Twenty four hours for me. <laughs> Can we not bring in my tourist mask? The last thing we need is the freaking moon coming down on these guys. <laughs> eh, more like the sun if a payload does get dropped. Needless to say. We can continue. <laughs> and I believe this is what everyone wanted this volume. Ruby actually accepting what's going on and breaking down and uh, somewhat breaking down. But I think we can agree that the most important part about all this is Ren and Nora, correct? Glad you're all right. I mean, I, I'm more a fan of uh well, Renora is always gonna be an actual ship that's actually a thing. Yes, but it is. The thing I'm more uh, want to talk about is what comes after yeah, this part. Okay, this is one of the best yeah, parts in it, but I love this part. I honestly do. Renora's canon confirmed, at least. Renora's always been canon. You know well, it's been canon, but this is just fully confirmed it. But that didn't matter to like, yeah, the kiss back, what, what volume ago? Yeah. Yeah. Pushed it over that edge, but this fully confirmed. And Nora just going off on Ren like this. It it's showing how much her character is right. growing. I should be apologizing to both of you. Actually, this whole volume has when been showing how much Ren and um, Nora have been growing. They're doing their best for both um, for the team, but at the same time, they're stressing each other out about their relationship and how like wh- who are how, like who they are. What happened at Robin's rally? For losing the lamp. I thought if I just focused on working harder, getting stronger, that we, I, wouldn't fail. Ren, you are not a failure. You are one of the best characters in this show. Both as a teammate and as a partner. (laughs) Okay, I love love how when it, moments like this, just how, like, they put it in a 2D format. <laughs> yeah. Under the bridge, buddy. <laughs> and I'm a and see a poof. And, help with <laughs> and the door. I love Jean. I love him so much. I love how he's learned to read the room. I mean, he's come a long way since Beacon has anything. So we failed as a team, but mm-hmm. we succeed as a team too. I was the one holding us back. Not John, not you. Also, the fact that uh, Nora actually says the full lie, Ren, instead of just Ren. Is make yeah. dumb jokes and smash things with a hammer. What? That's not true. You put everything you have into what you do. You support everyone around you. You help without worrying about how it might hurt. And that's I'm what sorry, I love about. Be very quiet. <laughs> that's why I. I love you. I love these two so much. Renora is my favorite ship. I love it so much. It will always be my top ship. When I love these two. When my mom ran from the Grim and left me behind, you found me. We didn't know this though. Her mom left her. Oh well, yeah. We just thought she was abandoned. Mission of heart. Yeah, that. Uh, we. Nora is. They must have been like on the poor side of basically that. Out town yeah and being abandoned basically under that house hiding from the grim that was probably not the funnest for her and that pretty head on your shoulder seems like it's doing a lot better yes it is but i still gotta get mine sorted out before i can be the partner you need is that okay it's okay nora i'm sorry this turned into another the pink petals, or the pink lotus petals, they're they're brilliant. Oh yeah, very uh, good symbolism there too. Yes. Don't be crying, Nora. Don't cry. <laughs> oh, I wish Boop was just playing in the background, honestly. 
and not to and sorry to kind of soil this but this is a very kind of typical death thing can you wait for me can you okay. not can you not sorry, but I, i'm making this <laughs> We've Can already had the not? jokes of Nora death flags this whole fucking season. I don't Sorry want for my Nora language, dead. but I'm saying that. I don't want Nora dead. I'm that's the saying last it. thing. That's the last thing we need right now. Oh my gosh. If anyone should die, let it be Watts or let it be Cinder or let it be um Let it be Jacques. Yeah, let it be Jacques. Everyone's okay with that, right? And have all the lady schnees take over. Oh, okay, 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 okay. cameras on As I said, um, this may have been okay, like wasn't the specific part. Yeah. Um, as I said, that um, I'm a bias on I'm that's my bias on what the best scene was. I love Renor, but now I'm gonna get serious again. This scene and the scene that follows, those are the key. Those are those are the key. Um, the key parts in this episode. Oh yeah, seeing them actually kind of be like covert inside that military base. Yes, but this part is important because I'm glad Crow actually has someone he can talk to. Robin is. I'm glad they took Robin and put him with Crow. Her with Crow. up to the academy, and I am ending this. Or we fail and people get killed. He deserves this. Also, you can definitely tell. uh the voice actor difference from before to this, uh, from before to now kind of thing, when he actually gets loud. Yeah, I know. Listen, I, I mean, I could always tell it was a different voice actor. His voice has always oh, been, his yeah. voice has always been a little, um, time. deeper. But let's stop but, pretending yeah, that what you're trying to I'm just saying it's more prominent when he actually gets loud, because with, with ra uh, raising your volume, you raise your pitch a little bit, so you can kind of tell. Yeah. But I gotta tell you. I think you're the better huntsman. Not because you were the one who walked away, but because you were the one who was fighting for what was right. Don't go telling me that's changed. And um, people are going to hate me for this. I ship it. <laughs> Birds of a feather. Flock together. <laughs> No. All right, this this is, this is this. the part that I cared about the most in this. I'm trying yes. to get this this part right here was what needed to be said for this volume. After the hound died, after Ruby got a good look at that thing, and she actually started thinking about it. I'm actually glad they finally ad they addressed it. They didn't take too long and wait till like they're the end of the oh, volume for it. They're addressing what might have happened. But they haven't confirmed that it happened. Yes, but still, Ray, um, th it's it's something that it's something that it still needed to be addressed. Talked about it was something that needed to be talked old. about. Yes. Oh yeah. But yeah. That giant hound kicked us around like we were nothing. But Blake said you and the Shanese managed to take it down. Also, I love that plural. You and the Shanese. Still having to one-up your big sis, huh? I love how she's just trying. Did she tell you what it was? Underneath? Oh, God. Yeah. You know what that means, then. I wouldn't worry about that. That's what happened to Mom. Darn! And <sighs> That's the realization, most likely, yeah. that she's trying to, like... She saw that thing. She saw it's the silver eyes. And I saw its eyes. Yeah. I knew. Salem used to kill people with silver eyes, like Maria. But she's always wanted me alive. Why would that change unless... When she met Mom, she learned she could do something new. Ruby. Dang. We shouldn't lie to ourselves. I wasted our time getting Amity up. Thinking help would come, but it didn't. And Amity fell. I was being childish. You were being optimistic. Look, 
blind optimism isn't great. This talk but needed no to happen. Ruby and Yang have barely ever talked like this in, 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 in um, like this since like what volume three? To take risks, but mine. Oh yeah, they haven't had like a true heart to heart talk. It's still got in a, a while. out. Ruby, they're not called sure things. They're called risks. And in case you didn't notice, my plan for Mantle didn't work either. But we got Oscar back. And did a lot more that was never in the plan. You got Emerald! I call that a win! Mom took a risk the day she left. And I don't think... I don't think it went the way she wanted it to. But she's still my hero. Hurry! The moment I say Jean is good at for um, is good at reading the room. He comes in and ruins it. <laughs> Teddy, please! I, I must. Th this was another uh, scene that I kind of liked. Yes. Penny is more than just a machine, and Watts didn't understand that. Penny. I must open the vault and self-terminate. You are more than a machine. Also, seeing the teamwork here. To... Yes. You never realize how many people in this actually have, uh, I guess, kind of like grappling hook esque parts of their weaponry. I, you got Blake with hers. You got Ren, Ren with his. his. And, then, and then you have Emerald with hers. With their chain, with their little chain sides. I've got her. What do we do? And then you realize you got a maiden to deal with. I must. Rogue maiden. Open the vault. Self terminate. Thank you, Emerald. You are You're a so godsend. Big. You are a godsend person. Also, the amplification of Penny, please. To make the gravity. Tell me how to help you. No. Uh, the, like right Can after seeing her eyes just shrink, like what? Did you just say what I think Please. you said? Please, I cannot fight it. Yes, you can. It's just a part of you. Remember, if you were only a machine, you never could have fought back for this long. Yes. She's right. She's right. Join, Mister Aura. I'm actually glad um, Jean, Jean um, unlocked his semblance. He would never have done this. He could, they could never have done this if that were the case. I'm happy that he has a aura booster. Jean always got to be a support role. Hey, if it ain't broke. Did I stop the virus? Remember, Semlis is can evolve. If he can boost his own no. aura to make his slashes even better, he can pull off some there. serious um but he can pull off some serious attacks if he really wanted to. A soul. That's who you are. Our friend. Not a machine. Can we make a video on that later, actually? I want I want I want John I want a little John upgrade of his amplification. I think you're wrong, by the way. Also. Emerald! Doing her thing! Place you Finally. I mean, yeah, you you guys have been getting your asses kicked. So that. <laughs> I love Emerald. My fault, but like, you're at war. You're gonna take hits. Yes. Look, I'm just going to be super pissed if you all finally decide to give up the moment I switch sides. Switch sides, huh? Finally. Aww. <laughs> and the fact that they accept it. <laughs> or like, whatever. The fact that she's being a Sundari about it as well. <laughs> I love Emerald. Emerald's got you all is a good revert. character. Also, there's another Maybe thing we need to talk about before like Ospin comes out. Um, if Emerald's helping them, what's Cinder going to do? Uh, what's she going to do when Cinder finds out? I'm actually curious how she's uh, how Emerald is going to react to Cinder finally seeing. Oh. So you decided to go against us? No, no, no. I, I feel I, honestly, I feel like it'd be the other way around. I feel like, yeah, uh, no, I feel like I, I feel she already lost Mercury, and she had that little look of, wait, you're leaving me? What the frack? You can't do that. That's illegal. You can't do that. 
And then <laughs> wait a minute, that's illegal. And then think about uh, you got to think about um, if she finds out if she found out that Emerald was helping and switching sides. Like, wait, what? You got to think. Would she on it? Like, even after that little um roast from Watts, do you think she'd actually care? Well, no, I think she'd actually be understanding with how much she, that actually registered probably to her. Constantly always being a migraine, didn't treat her own companions right, they left. I, mean, I hope it hits her at home. Honestly, so do I. Because uh, I hope it brings back some um, some memories of Rhodes, honestly. Because um, honest, cause he didn't want her to go down this path. Uh, he didn't know that she was on her way to a breaking point. I don't even think did um did he know about the whole collar thing before that night he got killed? I don't actually know. Cuz if he didn't know and she's been going through that most of her life while he was training her, she was at we already knew she was going to be at a breaking point, but I don't think he knew. I mean, after that night going in there and constantly seeing the shocking happen as she had the mother raised by her throat. Yeah. It's just, it's something I want to think about. Also, I want to, I just want Emerald to, I also want Emerald to pull a Watts and just tell Cinder off. I do too. I also want, uh, I also want Emerald. I also want, um, actually, actually, I want this. It's unlikely, but, um, Cind um, Cinder. Um, Emerald's always wanted a family. I want Ruby and Yang to treat her like a sister. I really do. Very tempted to say uh, that she could be the new fourth in uh, Team Juniper. I wouldn't mind that. Well, I wouldn't mind that at all. But I feel, but um, I feel like it was filled with Oscar. But then I felt like it could have been placed with Penny. Like after Volume Eight was set, um, said and done, they all leave for Vacuo because we all know that's coming. But we all know that's gonna come out. I wonder how that actually is gonna be going on over there. Yeah, that is a good question. How are they gonna get to Vacuo? Mass talks for future. Yeah, and another thing. Uh, I didn't talk about this during the whole Crow and Robin thing. Another thing I want to... Oh, another thing. I think Crow might actually die this volume. Uh, he'll probably get hurt no, no, pretty no. bad, but I don't think he'll die. It's just... A, a thought occurred to me when they all, like... like Because I've like, when we haven't seen him that. fight while, like, switching back and forth between normal and bird. Yeah. We've only seen him switch to bird to you know reconnaissance to trick that one dude yeah i understand to, to dodge some rubble we haven't seen him fully like it i know like fight fight i feel I, I i can't get this feeling out of my head that he's going to die and he's going to ask robin to watch over his nieces i feel like he's going to die either um protect either protecting ironwood protecting robin protecting um ruby or yang or he's just go or um Salem's gonna destroy Atlas with him in it. That's just my take on it. I don't know why it is. It's just something that's been... It's an idea since, um... Since this happened. Oh, so we didn't talk about who was in the elevator! Oh, we pro... Uh, I could probably get, take a guess at that. Yeah, uh, Winter and... Uh, Winter and Meryl, they're leaving, correct? Oh, uh, most likely. If it's not, then that, I'm hoping... Giving, when walking past the journal, that was not a, like a, oh, I'm angry at this guy look. No, that's an angry, I'm angry at you look. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just, we did, can... just did that to save Mero. Yeah, she, she, she didn't want him to die. Plus, um, she found out she, he was actually about going to drop the bomb no matter what. So she was like, yeah, that was the last straw. No, no. Well, no, no that, you can't do that. He wasn't going to drop the bomb no matter what. He was getting it ready in case of in case he has to, which is still tempting for him to do. I feel like he's gonna yeah, but um, if what happens at the end of the episode, if it begins, if it begins, and um, I feel like he's just gonna have it ready 
the bomb literally over Mantle as they're making this little exchange of theirs. Boy, pull like a, it's been an hour and the vault's not opened. Drop the payload. Yeah. Or the fact that if Cinder messes it up, like if Cinder, if Cinder and Watts do show up and mess it up, they're like, drop the payload. They betrayed us. And then she see, and then he sees Cinder. A and he's voice like, oh, changer. Crap. Oh, imagine a voice cha uh, Watts doing a voice changer trying to pretend to be Ironwood. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Okay. Things that could happen that we are always okay. theorizing. Okay, 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 okay. Let's um, let's continue the episode before we get into all that. Let's uh, continue. Yes, that. But, I, um, I want to actually hear about this uh, little story fairy tale. It was the story. It wasn't this the story of the girl who fell through remnant. Uh, maybe. Let's hear. Let me hear it again. Let me hear. Let's hear it again. Let's hear it again. I love how they're all a little hesitant about um having Ozpin talking again too. I was recently reminded of an old fairy tale. A young girl flees the consequences of a choice. To a magical place. Yeah, it is. But yeah, the girl who fell to the remnant. learned from her initial failure, she only succeeds in spreading it. Girl who fell through Alice in Wonderland. I failed all of you. I should have trusted you with the truth, and should never have run the day you discovered it. It was rough, but I think after everything that's happened here, we understand. Trust is... Trust is... a risk. Some risks, they pay off. Sometimes they don't, but that's why they're called and risks. I hope it's a risk you can take on me again. And you got the best... Uh, another best girl on your side. Mm. I can still feel it fighting me. I can't just keep amping her forever. And we can't keep Ironwood waiting. Ah! Guys! She has to go to the vault. That's actually a risk we haven't considered. I'm wondering what Ruby has planned. She'll do it. And seeing them meet up. Yes. And Cinder's like, okay, this time we're doing it right. <laughs> but look at Crow. Look at that vector of Crow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, let's actually uh, kind of wrap this up and kind of like talking about what pl what plan do you think she has? Do you think that they're going to just walk in or do you think they're going to be led in there with handcuffs? Handcuffs, most definitely. But we have to consider, like we have to consider like the Academy entrance. What could happen there? Crow could show up. Crow and Robin could show up. Marrow and Winter could show up. I like how up. it's just Ruby in this room. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, let's Cinder not put Crow, the guy who was actually here. Yeah. Oh, uh, Winter could show up. I mean, um, um, Cinder, Neo, and Watts could show up at any moment. Has Ruby always been 5'4"? Uh, I think she got, like, two feet, uh, two feet, um, a, a few inches taller since volume one. Just a few inches. I think she was about, I think she was five foot in... Um, I think she was five foot in volume one. Was she? Am I wrong? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. Um, but I'm still, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, well, first off, I think we're going to probably see another POV of, uh, Crow and Robin running into, well, Marrow and Winter. Yeah. I expect that to probably be where we start off next episode because of the, oh, kind of look that they both had when the thing opened. Yeah. Do you think Winter's going to back you up with them? I think Winter's going to probably just pretend to be close to the general and then just 
Because isn't Winter second in command? Yes, she is. If he goes down, who takes over? Huh. That is very true. But, well, Ironwood is probably going to die this volume, but if Winter does become the new general, I mean, I see it. I want it to happen. I don't think she'd want to take it yet. <laughs> general Schnee. <laughs> general Winter Schnee. It has a ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I... I was about to say, Ironwood is just his name, because last name, so it would just be General Schnee yeah. if she took over. If she took over. Honestly, if I were to pick a general for Mantle, I'd give it to... I, um, I mean, Mantle, for Atlas, I'd give it to Mero. I don't care how childish <laughs> he is. The man is... He's honest. Pro he knows right and from give wrong. A <laughs> give a promotion to Harriet. Promote her to citizen. <laughs> Yeah, you're fired. Get out of here. No one likes you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I don't anymore. Vine, you're my, um, Elm, you're my second in command now. Sh Miss Schnee, you're my supervisor. <laughs> you tell me what I'm doing, you tell me what I'm doing wrong, and if I make, if I don't, if I don't do the right thing, just tell me to do so, and I'll change it immediately. Hey, call me on my BS. <laughs> yes! <laughs> You'll be the one to call me on my BS. Because apparently Ironwood doesn't have someone to do that. Cause I feel. Wait a minute. Is what? Winter gonna die this volume? All right, we're. Could Winter die? Where... Could Winter die uh, this volume? Yeah. If Ironwood finds out that he got betra that Winter betrayed him, is she? Is he gonna shoot her? Is he gonna kill her? It's a possibility. I don't think that Winter would allow herself to be shot in the back like you, uh, like Marrow almost got. You're not wrong, but still, it could happen. You never know what Rich, um, team, I mean, what Kruby is thinking nowadays. I was about to say, if Winter and Marrow fought the uh, fought General Ironwood, I know damn well that he would not win, I just mean, because of semblance. I mean, they got. Cro I mean, I mean just. I mean just, just Marrow two. and Winter. Yeah, because. All stay, Meryl has to do is say, stay, stay and, and then life. you're dead. <laughs> but I think it's best that um, Cr um, Winter and Mero, um calm Crow down about killing Ironwood just like Robin did. And they say, the children, are the children and Mantle are more important than taking down the general. So it's best to go and help them and we deal with Ironwood afterwards. Well, they have they gotta stop the general to stop the armies that are currently holding them hostage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right about that. You're right about that. They do and they're already there, so I feel they're, like they're will, already I feel like, like Watts is be a rematch. I wonder how uh, what Watts is gonna do. Like, if he like, what is his plan right now? That uh, he doesn't have uh, to follow Salem's orders technically. Honestly, After. I think he and um, as far as far as it goes, he just has to get back to her. He can do whatever he wants in the meantime. That is very true. That is very true. Plus, I think after that little <clears throat> heart to heart they had last episode, <laughs> I think Cinder's more inclined to listen to Watts and what he's planning to do right now. Makes sure, sense. Cinder. Plus, um, they get the rel. Plus, they get the relic. Um, uh, both of the, um, Neo gets her revenge. They can take the relic back to Salem. Salem gets a, um, sa um, pop, um, um, Cinder gets the Winter Maiden powers. They get the staff. They leave for Vacuo. All said, all said and done, if the plan goes correctly, which we all know it's not going to. Anything, uh, what? Anything else you think is gonna anything else you think is gonna happen? Because I'm, I have like a million thoughts at the moment. Uh, there's gonna be an internal battle of, uh, kind of like what should be done between the last three Aesops. I think Elm's just gonna leave. I think Elm's gonna leave. Elm is definitely gonna leave after this. Oh, El Elm's gonna want to leave. Then Harriet's gonna be like, "I'm gonna take you in for insubordination," <laughs> and Vine's just gonna be like, eh, "Whatever." <laughs> 
I'm sorry. Did you say Harriet was going to take Elm in for insubordination? <laughs> Elm, miss, I will crush you with my... I will crush you with my bare hands. Are you serious? Did you actually think that? Well, we've never seen them fight. Well, them fight each other. Look, Harriet may have speed, speed but she don't got strength. And... I thought this agility, uh, agility over. <laughs> we got it's a it's a game of strength versus dexterity build. <laughs> I only have to hit you once. I literally have to hit you once, and you are down. While you could literally give me like fifty punches, and I still will be standing. I am the Hazel of this group, basically. You want to mess with me? I give you free reign to try. I'm no, hoping Emerald just honestly. I hope sexy. Emerald um punches. I hope Emerald Emerald. I hope Elm punches Harriet in the face. I want that. I really want that. <laughs> she punches her through a wall just for the fun of it. And then goes and finds Marrow in uh, Winter. That'd be the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> anyway, this uh, was a great episode. Want, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, what's your uh, rating for it? Um, eight out of ten. My biggest gr um honestly with um while I said this was a very great episode I do have a few nitpicks we did not see Salem I want to actually see her like slowly reconstructing herself I want to see like a sense of like suspense like she's coming back oh my gosh she's coming back and um the Richard. fact that um, where will she regenerate since all of that giant you know thing went poof. Honestly, I'm thinking she's going to regenerate um, and take what's left of the Grim Whale and transform it into something else. That's my take on it. Maybe. Like, maybe something a little smaller, like a Levi like maybe she's going to make a Leviathan out of it, or maybe a giant manticore or a sphinx or something like that. Who knows? Giant kitty. Anyway. <laughs> um, but um, the other thing that um, dragged it down for me, while I did love um, the fact that Mero finally said something to the general, um, I didn't like the fact that he was about to kill him with his back turned. And while she was trying to help, I didn't want um, Winter punching my boy in the face and knocking him to the ground like that. Those are just my nitpicks, but that's the only reason. I'm sorry. I know they're petty and stupid reasons, but 8 out of 10. Zach? Uh, I give it an 8. I give it an 8 and a half. Reasons? I really wish they... I, I <laughs> wish we could have actually heard Emerald kind of talk a little bit more. That's your only grudge because we didn't hear Emerald talking a little more. I feel like her well, snarkiness... Well, she's finally starting... Game... She's finally starting to, like realize that she's kind of screwed up since the beginning joining that side yeah. for so long and then you know i mean she's been all thinking of about that it for a while now but well i just wish she kind of would have actually talked a little bit more like yeah she, we got a good bit like summarized but i wish she could have actually you know i think we're gonna get a little more of that in volume nine and volume 10 when we head to vacuo because remember mercury's there and she has to convince yeah. him to come back like, yeah, convince him to leave old crazy Scorpio boy. Uh, I don't think it's going to take much convincing to leave Tyrion. Trust me. <laughs> it's Tyrion. <laughs> yeah, but it's not, it's more or less, it's not more convincing. It's more making sure he can leave Tyrion alive. Yeah. Also, when we get to Vacuo, this is the this is gonna be the first time we see Vacuo, the Academy. We get to see. I want to see Professor well, Theodore. It's not the first. It's not the first time. Not like in a hole. In a hole. In a hole. But yeah, in a, in general, like the size of it. Yeah. I like we got to see some deserts. That's but it. Other we got to that. see. We got to see Sun and um Sun and Neptune. We got to see them. That's great. Good to know they're there. They're um, <laughs> helping. Uh, I just, I, I really just want, I want to see Professor Theodore. I want to know if this man is a chipmunk. That's all I want to know. Uh, of course you want to know if he's a guy. <laughs> I want to know if he's a chipmunk. Come on. It'd be funny. But I already know that um, all of them are, um, all of the, um, all the headmasters are probably based off um, big roles in um, 
um, Alice in Wonderland. So we already got Professor Lionheart, the Cowardly Lion. We already got the Tin Man, General Ironwood, the Wizard of Oz, and the Good Witch. Um, who was left? Theodore. Dorothy. Right? Am I right about that? No. Am I wrong? I don't know. Am I right about that? Theodore? Nah, eh, doesn't matter. I'm still hoping I'm still hoping for a chipmunk. Alvin and the chipmunks. I hope everyone gets that. I don't care. This was a great episode, and I honestly cannot wait for the next one. Oh yeah, I, I, I want to see how it pans out. I just hope Ruby... Well, we know what Ruby... I know... I, I hope Ruby knows what she's doing. I highly doubt she does, but at the same time, I just hope it goes what, uh, off without a hitch. What if... What if Emerald uses her semblance uh, d when they walk in, uh, makes a semblance look they like they Emerald. actually get up? They have Emerald! You yeah, just gave me the best make them look idea. like they're handcuffed. To make Yay. them look like they're handcuffed and walk them straight in. You know, there was a reason Emerald switched sides. It was for her semblance. <laughs> this is going to be the great. This is going to be amazing, isn't it? Wait, what if it's not Penny, though? What if the they don't give her Penny? They give her someone else. Well, how do they open up the vault without... Exactly. Because the general has most likely seen inside the vault once. Yes, because he saw the staff of creation. He saw the staff of creation once. I'm fairly certain he did. Either that or um, when the school was built and the previous um, general or headmaster of the academy put it in there when Oz put it in there. So... We don't know. We honestly don't know about that. We don't know about Ironwood's backstory at all, or his history with Oz, really. Well, I mean, if he's able to just straight up shoot the guy after realizing, oh, my kingdom's about to fall, pew, pew you know. Uh, yeah. Doesn't seem he has much of a back uh, backstory with him. I mean, he shot Oscar, not Oz. I feel like if Oz were talking, he'd be a little more frightened. I feel. Wait, what? Will, I wonder what's going. Let's uh, let's leave this for let's leave this for the next um time since we're going to be seeing it next week. Okay, that that's going to be it for this discussion video. Anything else you want to add beforehand, or are you good? I'm good. All right, this episode was great. We will see you guys next week. Um, uh, next this this Wednesday for episode twelve this Wednesday, this Saturday, um, for episode 12 of volume, um, volume eight, unless someone wants to be late again. Hey. <laughs> this is Artemis Arrow signing off. Have a good day, everybody. Say goodbye, tech. Where's everybody?